Plastic are synthetic polymers, meaning that they are substances that are artificially made by us humans and it takes a really long time for them to decompose, basically a thousand years for them to break down. Furthermore, we have produced 335 megatons of plastic over the years. Did you know that 8 million tons of plastics are dumped into the ocean annually? Worst case scenario, this might outweigh the population of fish in the sea. Yikes, I hope it won't happen that way. Seabirds and marine life will easily mistaken plastic waste as their own food that's leading them to death door. Have you ever seen this before? These are called microplastics. They usually appear in the size of 1 till 5 milliliter. Most of them are produced due to the exposure of UV rays from the sunlight and 51 trillion particles of them floats in the ocean. Meaning that they are easily swallowed by other marine life, right? Exactly. Oh no! Microplastics contain substances that are harmful to us, for example, BPA that can interfere the testosterone hormone, and DEHP that may cause cancer. Good job! Microplastics can even travel between bodies via the food chain. From microplastic to crayfish, and from crayfish to fishes. And lastly, it will end up on your plate. To prevent this crisis from becoming more and more worse, experts have taken a few countermeasures on how to control this using science. Have you ever seen this before? This is not some kind of toy, you know. This is called the jellyfish bot. This robot is really super since it can soup up waste easily on the surface of water, not just plastic waste and all, but it can also soup up oil as well. This is the footage of the robot from South China Morning Post on YouTube channel. Look at this! It's an edible water bubble! Ooh, I heard that they use algae to make the bubble container. Is that true? Yes, it's true. With this method, we will no longer need plastic bottle to store mineral water anymore. This will help to reduce plastic waste as well.